Welcome to Advexon TV. Imagine a universe in which particles interact only through their collective effects, rather than individual collisions. How would you model such a system? You've entered the realm of the Vlasov equation. The Vlasov equation, named after the Russian physicist Anatoly Vlasov, is a cornerstone in the world of plasma physics. It's used to describe the behavior of plasma, a state of matter consisting of charged particles, but don't be intimidated by the jargon. Think of it as a tool to understand how particles in a system behave over time. Essentially, the Vlasov equation is a type of kinetic equation. It describes the evolution of the distribution function, which is a fancy term for the probability of finding a particle with a certain position and momentum at a given time. The equation itself looks somewhat daunting, but we can break it down into manageable parts. It consists of three main components the time derivative, the spatial derivative, and the velocity derivative. The time derivative, denoted as ft, tells us how the distribution function changes over time. If this term is positive, then the probability of finding a particle in a certain state is increasing. If it's negative, the probability is decreasing. The spatial derivative, represented as vf, reflects how the distribution function changes with respect to position. This term captures the idea that particles move in space, which can affect their distribution. Lastly, the velocity derivative, em evax b evf, signifies how the distribution function varies with the particle's velocity. Here, e is the electric field, b is the magnetic field, e is the charge of the particle, m is the mass of the particle, and v is the velocity of the particle. This component takes into account the forces acting on the particles, which can alter their speed and direction. Together, these three components form the backbone of the Vlasov equation. They enable us to predict how a system of particles will evolve over time, given their initial state and the forces acting upon them. So, what have we learned today about the Vlasov equation? Firstly, it's a kinetic equation used to model the behavior of plasma. It describes how the distribution function, the probability of finding a particle with a certain position and momentum, evolves over time. Secondly, the Vlasov equation consists of three main components, the time derivative, the spatial derivative, and the velocity derivative. These terms tell us how the distribution function changes with respect to time, position, and velocity respectively. Lastly, the Vlasov equation is a powerful tool in plasma physics, enabling us to predict the future state of a system of particles based on their initial state and the forces acting upon them. So, the next time you gaze at the stars and ponder the mysteries of the universe, remember the Vlasov equation. It might just hold the answers to some of your questions.